Hey, welcome everybody to another special edition of Weird Wednesday. We are doing this a day early so that we can uh, have Daryl House with us, Suburban Hobo. I'm, of course, used toy or John House. And uh, it's been good to have Daryl home this last week. We've had a pretty, uh, pretty rootin' tootin' time. How you doing, Daryl? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not hungover. That's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> It is. I bust live from the old Crow Bar. It's Saturday. That's not Saturday night. It's, uh, it's Weird Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> but Seth Myers. We got some good stuff today. I think so. Uh, what do you have for us? Well, I tell you, my favorite story, I think, actually, I'm going to go this. Man arrested at Tennessee Bar for attempting to have sex with an ATM and a picnic table. It, is that wrong? I'm not sure, but in Tennessee, I guess like, you, you, your sister's okay. But it's a, a Tennessee man got himself in trouble by trying to make a rather unorthodox deposit at an ATM in Murfreesboro. Lonnie Hutton was arrested, charged with public intoxication, after he allegedly tried to have sex with an ATM at the Morrow Bar and Grill. The 49-year-old also attempted to have sex with a picnic table at the bar. When officers arrived, they found Hutton nude from the waist down walking around the bar, thrusting his hips in the air after his initial attempt with the ATM uh, didn't work out. It was not about the first sight. It must have been a pretty hot ATM. Well, officers took Hutton outside, set him down at the picnic table, at which point he exposed himself again and engaged in sexual intercourse with the aforementioned wooden picnic table. Police brought Hutton, who was slurring his words and wobbly on his feet, to yeah, the Reverend yes. County Jail, and they booked him. All right, well, since uh, people doing crazy things, I've got a high elf does epic battle with woman's car. That yes, high elf? Uh, in Oregon, a man high on LSD uh, was dressed as the uh, as the elf with uh, from from like the J.R.R. Tolkien uh, Hobbit. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, he even had a machete and a shield, and uh, I, I guess he. Thought that uh, the car was some kind of evil. Uh, Should have had a lightsaber. <laughs> That's what he needed. Well, he uh, he went ahead and did battle. Uh, I guess he caused a lot of damage, but uh, there were several puncture marks in the vehicle, and he was cited for criminal mischief. Which I'm, I'm guessing he got off pretty easy, considering. Uh, considering he wasn't a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was uh, taken to the hospital where he admitted to taking LSD. As if they didn't already know. <laughs> well, how about, I love this story too. A man in Houston is reportedly suing a stripper to get his money back. Well, yeah, I can see that. I don't know. I think, you know, at one point it has to become money well spent, but this is out of Houston. UPI reports a Texas woman who works as a stripper claims that one of her customers is taking her to small claims court so they can recoup his cash. The woman, stage name Nomi, works at a club in Houston. She told the uh, television station that she went out with one of her customers, Robert, on a few and separate occasions. She claims Robert <coughs> is suing to get back about $3,000 worth of stuff, including DVDs and a laptop. I've never heard of a customer suing a stripper, Nomi said. I just don't understand how this person can sue me for money that he freely gave. I would never have taken it had I known I had to pay it back. She says the guy is a nutcase. Uh, in addition to the electronics, uh, the man also gave Nomi cash. We started going on dates, going out to places. He, uh, he said, I helped a little bit here and there with money here and there because she was trying, so she was staying with me for a while because we actually had a relationship. Sounds like sour grapes to me. I, I think I, you're right. I'm, you know, another story, my sympathy goes with the stripper. Well, how about I, this? Remember me, Nomi, me, on your side. Pregnant woman not loving her McMarijuana burger. <laughs> a, uh, a pregnant woman and her boyfriend went through a, uh, a drive through McDonald's uh, eating like two McDoubles uh, as they bit into them. It didn't taste right. And so uh, it tasted bad, so she opened it up and it was covered in marijuana, or at least so she uh, suspects. So uh, she said that you could certainly smell the McDoobies, but uh, she went ahead and made a police report, and they are they are testing it to make sure that it's marijuana, and uh, 
they, they, they said that that can take up as much, as much as two months. So they won't actually know if they can press charges for two months. I, I can tell them a, a quicker way to test whether it, it is marijuana. But I'm dying to know, did you make up a doobies or is that part of the story? Because I mean, uh, you know, they, they can win me back as a customer if they have a doobies. <laughs> Well, I, I actually didn't make that up. That's, That's part, part of the story. Ah, well, wow. it's a good, you know, I would have, this actually, my next story would kind of go along with McDoobie's. It's about bacon. Oh, everybody loves bacon. Well, there's a new bacon on the street, and it's made out of beef. They're called a schmake. Schmake? Schmake. It can be coming to a store near you after about two years of development, an all beef bacon product called schmake. I want schmake. <laughs> It was officially launched at the National Restaurant Association Industry Conference in Chicago this past weekend. Made of smoked and cured glazed beef slices, Schmaken is a healthier alternative to pork bacon as it has half the fat and calories and 60% less sodium. Created by Howard Bender of Schmaltz Products. <laughs> this is some Are, are you the, making this up? I'm going to sound like the onion with every word of that. <laughs> Howard Bender of Schmaltz Products, Schmaken is advertised as being smoky, sweet, and outrageously good. Almost like bacon. It's not along for the ride, it is the ride, according to the product's website, yet it plays nicely with burgers, bread, lettuce, sauces, turkey, you get the idea. No matter how it is enjoyed, it spreads happiness and a strong urge to eat more. Bender is hoping to start selling Schmaken at grocery stores in the Chicago area this summer, so you toddle of towners up there, keep your eyes out for the schmaken. Well, I'm not a big fan of turkey bacon, so I'll, I'll, I'll give schmaken a try. Bacon schmaken. Well, uh, and then once again, we go to Florida for this story. A school nurse in Lake City, Florida, has been arrested after allegedly stealing students' prescription medication from the school nurse's station. Uh, on Tuesday, Marilee Boozer, <laughs> 24 was charged with theft and possession of controlled substances, according to NBC Miami. Uh, Boozer was was booked and later released on a $5,000 bond. She uh, apparently had been uh, taking kids' medication, and uh, she said some of it went down the drain, and and she certainly had some some excuses, but. Uh, she she did resign from her position. So went down the drain, so she snorted. Yeah. Well, what do kids take to school? Baby aspirin? Um, what is she stealing? Ritalin pills. Oh, Ritalin. Oh, okay. And and because uh, because she was taking some of the Ritalin, she was giving the kids other pills that they're not sure what they were. They got my heroin, mom. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse took my heroin. As a result, uh, uh, one of the moms wants to see Boozer charged with child endangerment. Wow. Hey, you know what? I like this. I do too. So I wish we could do this all the this time. This would be kind of fun, yeah. We could get like these spotlights and then, well, there's some folks. Are we all done? That, we are all done. It's Weird Wednesday. It's MaloneyBrain.com. Live from the old, well, live on tape from the old Crow Bar. Use toy. I'm Suburban Hobo. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.